Musashi is one of, if not the most important unit for floor 30. At level 30, Musashi has 32,300 health and attack, 4 speed, and an attack rate of 8.97 seconds. Musashi cannot kill any peons in a single hit, but he cripples them enough to the point where you can reliably finish them off with other units such as Maglev, Fishman, or Jamira. He survives 4 hit from Snitch, 1 hit from Dark Doge, and 1 hit from Hermit. The Awakened form has instead 42,500 health and attack, meaning it can use weaker hitting units to finish peons along with him, such as dragons. It also survives more hits, 5 from Snitch, 2 from Dark Doge, but still only 1 from Hermit. Since Musashi has a decently long attack rate and deals high AoE damage to the peons, there might be times where you want to stall for it rather than attack the peons immediately, especially if there are multiple of them around. The slow beam is particularly good for this. The farther Musashi is from the cat base, the harder it is to protect it. Because of this, you want to prevent your Musashis from advancing in whatever way you can. This means timing your attackers with Musashi's attack rate on every Hermit knockback, or alternatively, not spawning any attackers before knockback. Not meat shielding to let Hermit walk forward again, spawning Musashis so that their attack rates are more or less synced. While hugely desynced Musashis are more convenient for peons, they tend to push a lot, which results in their own demise. Calculating health makes this whole process much easier, obviously. But what if Musashi ends up pushing anyways? You can use peons to reposition. Always try to reposition with bloggers when they show up. I explain this method in more detail in the meat shielding video. Only let Snitch hit Musashi if he's very far from the base and you badly need him closer, as his damage per hit is low enough that you can still recover afterwards. Never intentionally let Hermit or Dark Doge hit Musashi, as they deal too much damage. Here's a summary of the important points you should keep in mind. It's always good to have a general sense of when Musashi's next attack will occur, so that you can get into hit peons instead of making it miss by spawning other attackers. Do whatever you can to prevent your Musashis from pushing. Always try to reposition with bloggers. Snage works for emergencies.